There is an official launch trailer for the remake. I haven't seen it. Let's watch it and react. This will be fine. Brace yourselves. Not all images appear in game. Okay, this is the the landing at the Ishimu. It's all falling apart here. Hey Isaac, coming? It looks so good. Where is everybody? These are not the same camera angles that we've been seeing before. The box up! Chen's getting his ass kicked. That's again a different angle. Mosa. Transformation. It's remarkable. He looks good. Ooh. Oh, this. Oh, ooh. They've made the reunited. flickery guys. The people you lost. Little look at the camera. Ah, oh, this is the stuff that I've been talking about in my Dead Space 1 playthrough. The the kind of fleshy bits. Oh. They're showing us the end boss in the trailer. I mean, why not? It's not like you can spoil a game that's 15 years old. Um... We got a look then. If I can find it. One of my limited critiques of Dead Space graphically was that the the crater in Age of Seven at the end is a bit lackluster, a bit flat. Because it's a it's a big area. So, this is, that's the quarantine chamber. This is the, the track that we pull the marker up on right at the end. What's with all the tentacle stuff? That's not there. I wonder if they're going to change it ever so slightly. Because uh, that there's the plinth, isn't it? But it did say that these uh, some some images might not be in the game. Because th this isn't how this scene goes down in Dead Space 2008. I don't recall. The end boss, though, the fact that they've actually... They, they just give us a glimpse of it. Um, we'll see how... Oh, there's terrible compression on this video. Um, we'll see how that turns out. Let's, let's take a, another look through, because screw it. Need to click play, don't I? Yes. Smart. Uh, okay, so we've got... Jumping, uh, we've got shocking in with the, the, I mean, this is when we're crashing, isn't it? This is sparks flying, different angles and stuff. This, the, the lightning was shown in the, the initial kind of reveal trailer and it looked a bit rough, a little bit kind of special effecty. It looks better here. I feel like I need the, the sound on for this. But yeah, so that's this is us coming in hot to the uh, the Ishimura. Real sense of speed being delivered there. So this is our look at Nicole. Um, a lot of people have complained that she looks too old. Um, she looks a lot more like she did in Dead Space Two. Now, to be honest. Um, but they've changed the faces of all of the cast. Uh, so, 
you know, if you want to, no, and you, you you can and will argue about it. I know people will. She's not sexy anymore. She doesn't look like a teenager. She's a senior medical officer. You don't get to be a senior medical officer and still look like you're twelve. Um, doesn't look like the original Isaac Clark. Um. I don't know if they've got a new face model. I don't know if actually this is what Gunner Wright looks like. Maybe he does. I don't know. Um, beautifully realised. You know, well lit, great texture work. Hair looks decent. Um, and he looks... I'm not going to say fresh-faced, but he looks like he is a rugged, smart, everyman engineer. He also looks like he's had a decent night's sleep recently, which, of course, if they remake Dead Space 2, he won't do. Maybe he'll look worse as the game goes on, as it gets to him. That'd be cool. I don't know whether they're going to do that. So we've got the issue... Uh, we've got the... I can never remember the name of the, the, the ship. Um, it's missing its port booster. Starboard booster, one of the two. I can't remember which one does, uh, gets wrecked. Um, but again beautiful high definition nice use of lighting it looks real so we've got new outfit for kendra obviously again criticism has been made that they've desexified kendra you know she's not wearing that skin tight essentially massive chested top hopefully oh, can, can we check out her hair hopefully her hair's moving normally um we get more interaction in the initial room by the look of it there's a lot more set dressing in this room and a lot more lighting one of the things that i noticed um when i was d uh, editing together my dead space one footage after watching some some stuff on dead space remake is that this opening lounge is very spartan in terms of set dressing and detail whereas here the lighting really does make a difference i know in the initial kind of launch um announcement trailer when chen or chen gets battered against this window and the glass cracks blood actually manages to splatter through the glass i wonder if that will have changed for the final game it probably should do it's a detail that doesn't make sense if the glass was to kind of crash inwards that and, and be covered in blood that would make sense but it, it just kind of cracks um and then we get some different rooms i can't say i recognize this one maybe it's something that they've added in new maybe it's something because i've only played the first game once recent as that may be this is the bridge isn't it yeah, this is the bridge, and uh, they've they've still got the hole in the floor, which is nice. It looks like, oh no, they haven't got more ramps. It's just the way the lighting is coming in. I like the emphasis on the the kind of orangey holographic displays. There are a lot of people that are saying, you know, that the Ishimura didn't have good technology, and that the the holographic uh, video logs that they're doing in in place of some of the, the, the kind of video log files that that's out of place it's like well the technology existed because it exists in dead space 2 and 3 um the holographic displays so there's no reason that the ishimura shouldn't have some version of it this is a a, a cool callback so this is the is this the waste disposal room or is this the Yeah, I can't tell if this is the waste disposal room or if it's if this is no, this is the gravity tether room with the uh, the big moon that you have to go outside of. I like the fact that they've got the you know the hand from the box art, the original box art on there. People were complaining, people are still complaining that the the box art for the remake does away with the hand. Yeah, that the hand on the original two thousand and eight box art is is a great great motif for this is what you're going to be doing a lot of in the game you're cutting off limbs so the fact that it's in this trailer at least 
is nice. This this room in the 2008 game again is very Spartan and very differently lit. This is stuff that we've already seen. That's a different angle for Chen getting stabbed. That's the bit where the glass gets smashed, but it doesn't show you the the blood splatter there. Is I don't remember this explosion. I probably should. I remember the big explosion when we go back to the shuttle and get knocked out and the shuttle's destroyed. Um, that's an iconic shot, obviously. That's us acquiring the pulse rifle. As far as I'm aware, this is the first time we've seen... It is Mercer, isn't it? I think that's right. Uh, this is the first time we see Mercer. And this transformation, it's real. yeah, he looks he looks good. He looks fairly similar to 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 what I would imagine. I'm assuming this is the the kind of regenerating experimental boy, which I'm sure has a proper name that I don't know because I've ne still not looked up the names of the monsters. And we get some some very quick flashes of different necromorph designs, which I'm not going to try and stop. Um, but they've definitely got lots of delightful body horror elements to them. Don't know what that was in the... More cracked glass. Plus flashes of the marker. This is Hammond on the bridge, isn't it? Yeah. This is Hammond on the bridge, so clearly we're putting our helmet back on after having had a conversation with Hammond on the bridge, which is what, halfway through? Maybe a little less than halfway through the game? The original game. Clunking through corridors with, I think that's the force gun. This obviously is new, and that's beautiful framing. And look at all the stuff knocking around. Um... I don't know what section of the game this is going to be. I don't know what they will have changed in terms of the, the progression of the game to actually enable these zero-G sequences. There's not... The, the, most of the zero-G sequences in Dead Space 2008 are obviously very short because it's just a point-to-point -point thing, whereas now there can be you know actual real progress. The only real long zero g section outside the ship in dead space 2008 is the one where you're going down the trench under the meteor storm but putting in the 2000 and uh putting in the dead space 2 slash 3 controls um will make these sections much more interesting in my opinion we get some nice music to go with that as well um, and we get one of the uh, the delightful tentacle fights. This was cool. I loved seeing the, the kind of flickery ones. This is from towards the end of the game. when Well, two-thirds of the way through, where they start getting introduced. And I like how they blink, because in 2008's version, they just look really sped up. They just look like they've sped up the animations, and it doesn't look great. But here they actually see... Because they've been injected with stasis, if I remember correctly. And here it actually looks like they've got you know, a proper stasis effect. This is interesting. The hologram of Nicole. I've seen a couple of dev interviews where they've talked about the... They saw the opportunity to, to, to have... Nicole doing medical things recorded in these kind of holographic things just to give us a more personalised look at her because we see so little of Nicole except her face. The, the, the idea that she is the chief, a senior medical officer um, and that we, we don't really see her doing anything except that she has one log, doesn't she, um, in the original game about doing something medical. I, I feel like these are a good inclusion, but of course some people are going to say no this is right towards the end where we where we see her interesting that she's got a different kind of rig which is cool because in 2008 they've all got very similar stylings 
I like the fact that they've kept the the health bar full though, because um, this is this is almost at the end. This is chapter nine, ten, something like that. I'm liking the little chromatic aberrations that are going on here. There we go. We we we're getting an actual look at her. And yeah, she does look older, actually. Taking away the artifacting of the, 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 the screen, she looks like an overworked senior medical officer. She's got the bags under her eyes, she's got some crow's feet there. So if you wanted a, an 18, 19 year old, um, she's not. I don't actually know how old Nicole is supposed to be, um, but she's, she's clearly not a teenager, which is what she looks like in the original game. She looks like a woman who's, who's been through some shit and is old enough to, to hold a senior medical position, frankly. She looks like she's about Isaac's age. She's not wearing makeup because she's on board a ship that's going through some crap. I don't know. People will moan about it. But I love, I love that. That moment there. That look at the camera. That nod maybe to people who've played the game that, that know. Um, yeah. I, that's, I think, when the shuttle explodes and Isaac gets... Yeah. That, I think, might be the regenerator. Truly divine. Truly divine. Some references to the uh, unitologist. This is the stuff that I've been talking about in my actual playthrough of Dead Space. I don't know whether I've got to that portion. I don't know whether that's been released yet. Um... I talked about how the Resident Evil 2 remake sewer section with its big kind of glistening pustular stuff was really good and I expected to see an evolution of that in the remake but I don't think we'd seen any of it yet but this is the kind of the fleshy um, necromorphy infection that we see and it looks exactly as expected to. Also it looks like we've got one of the explodey necromorphs down there just in the center of the screen. You know, the ones that chase at you with the big kind of explodey club arm. Again, I don't know the names of any of them. I'm not an expert. It's just that I have played the game recently and I'm really excited for this remake. But the lighting here and the glistening on the fleshy stuff. This is the centrifuge room. Maybe. This is us getting dragged down the corridor by something. More explosions? There seem to be a lot more explosions in this. I'm trying to think which part of the game this might be. But again, they've, they've, they've made it more cinematic. Well, in fact, we're, we're jumping out into space there, so that's probably a new section. And then we get the, the shot of Aegis 7 at the end. More Isaac in space. And yeah, a look at the hive mind at the end. Humanity ends here. January 27th. It's so close. So close. Pre-order. Hmm. Yes, I'm very excited about the Dead Space remake. Hopefully people are enjoying my Dead Space playthrough. There's not a huge number of people watching it from, from my analytics, but... You know, it's an old game, and not everybody's interested in watching an old man who jumps at everything play through an old game. I'm sure not many people will be interested in me playing through the remake either, but I'm going to, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. Hopefully you will join me for that. If you've enjoyed my reaction to the Dead Space official launch trailer, so which I've somehow managed to make 20 minutes long, now this is how I react to trailers. I watch them through, people turn off the reaction, and then I talk about it for an extra 15 minutes or so, which nobody watches. Yeah, until next time. Thank you very much for watching and joining me here. If you have stuck it out this long, leave a like, subscribe for more. Look out for my remake playthrough coming soon. Catch you all later.
Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.